I did a lot today and I still have a lot to do, which I'm kind of falling behind, but it's okay. So how do you welcome to my YouTube channel? I'm Rumble. Woo, yay. And for those who don't know me already, I am a fine arts student in South Africa and I am an artist and I make videos about exactly that. Other than that, I do make other types of videos that I want to because I can and I one two but for today it is a little bit of a different video i'm just going to show you what i got today for school i saw a comment on a previous video that someone left thank you so much that was asking to do like a haul and this came at the perfect timing because i needed to get all the stuff anyway and i don't really i don't buy a lot of stuff often but today i had to get a bunch of stuff so here's the haul that was perfect timing yeah i'm gonna be showing you what i got and why i got it and we're just gonna vibe before we get onto this video make sure you like subscribe and turn on for post notifications so you're notified when next i upload a video i usually upload on saturdays but my schedule is kind of eh, but it's getting there i'm improving comment your favorite novel because i've been getting back into reading books and i want to find like good book recommendations anyway so where do i start so i got a bunch of stuff today i don't know this is so fun because like i've been watching youtube for like a decade now one of the things i used to be obsessed with is people doing like hauls from like target or michael's or walmart and seeing all the stuff they got because i really like watched a lot of DIY queens and stuff. So the fact that I'm doing it now, got a bunch of random stuff. So I'm just gonna start with the most random thing. I got a heater. Oh, winter is coming, guys. I got a heater for my studio because the studios are freezing cold and I don't do well in the cold. I don't like winter because it's too cold, okay? I know that's the purpose of winter is to be cold, but I don't like it. I'm gonna put it by my feet in my studio because those walls are thin, guys. Yo, it's cold. They don't care. They said hypothermia. So I went to PNA because I needed a bunch of new paintbrushes. Like, it was overdue. It's been new, you know? Oh, no! Why did you fall? Okay, it's right here. I didn't have to be that traumatic. Okay, so the first thing I got, because I've been wanting to do a lot more oil painting because that's the one i'm least experienced in because i've always been like a acrylic gal i got some oil paint oil brush set i didn't i should have done my research and to figure out like which paint brushes are best for oil paint i don't know anything but i didn't i just walked into the and i was like i'm gonna get some brushes and then i realized I don't know which brushes to get and this one said oil so I chose it. This is also from Montmartre which is an affordable like they have like an affordable range of things and also the, like I feel like their stuff is still good even though it's affordable so I like their stuff I like their brushes I've got them before and they're still like affordable and we're gonna open it because it's, it comes in a pouch guys. I'm not gonna lie that was part of the reason why I got this one is because it comes with the pouch and how can I say no to a pouch? Oh ooh, it's green. Wow okay oh so this is like uh hogs hair what do you call hogs hair right yeah i needed like a bunch of different ones that's the thing i needed like a whole different range of things so i'm glad i already need a, a box the one thing i don't have i mean i do have like boxes for my paints and stuff but i want one of those like caddies uh, what's that song again i never been Moving on, still on the thread of brushes because that was the main objective of ours today is I got these, these three brushes. They are much more soft though, so it's like for acrylic more. I wanted ones that are long handles but still have like good uh, tips. Three in different sizes. I also wanted flat brushes instead of round ones. No, I actually needed round brushes. I'm so stupid. Next on the brushes, I think this is the last brushes I got, are these. I need, I wanted to get like uh, quite fine paint brushes. I actually wanted to get like the really fine ones but those are expensive and I'm not doing anything like extremely fine at the moment so I'll save up for that later. But once again, Montmartre. I'm a Montmartre fan. Moving on, I got oil painting medium. I wanted to get Terps. Terps is expensive. What the heck? I've never used oil painting medium because like I really don't have a lot of experience with oil paint. But I have used like turpentine and then linseed oil. So I'm excited to see how this one works because this one it's it like dries quicker, but then it also like increases the gloss. And that's what I'm looking for. I want to make it like rich colors because with like a uh, acrylic, that was the thing that I didn't like about acrylic was that I couldn't get that like rich color. In Unless I use like a 
glaze or whatever on top of it which i never use i'm excited to see how this looks like i'm also very nervous <laughs> oil painting makes me nervous i don't know why the next thing i got is a palette knife this is a palette knife i use them to mix colors i use them both for like acrylic and oil paint these are much useful because if you mix with a paintbrush so much paint is getting stuck in the bristles like so much paint is here and also when you mix it on with this one you don't mix it evenly so when you paint it leaves like streaks the last things i got were some sticky notes for annota annotating i wanted to get these because we're doing in history of art we do a lot of reading and i like to look back at the stuff i've read okay okay guys i'm gonna show you a little like hack so i needed a palette also especially also for oil because i have like four acrylic however I hate the pellets at shops. I despise them because they're made of plastic and it is impossible to take off paint and to clean it properly. This is what I'm talking about. You see this? You see this? I can't clean that. Yes, there are ways to clean this, but ain't nobody got time to clean this. These are best for like watercolor paints because then it's just gonna wash off easily. That's fine. Because acrylic is plastic. So if you put plastic on plastic, ah, it'll be best friends forever. But I wanted to get a glass palette. And for a while, I've been using this glass plate but i wanted more and i wanted a bigger one for oil painting so guys i'm gonna give you a life hack ceramic tiles also if you don't want to do ceramic glass just get a picture frame take out the glass and use that or you can use it in the picture frame so you can have like the border and not cut yourself on the glass but what i've been using now because i feel glass frames are more expensive tiles let me tell you come here come into my office this tile free i just went into a tile store and asked for a sample they gave me this for free and like it's fine it has a bit of a pattern but i really don't mind and it's shiny it will wash off really easily and i don't need to you know i don't need to pay for it and yeah tiles have like a sharp edge so you can just go in with like insulation tape and then tape it on the sides get yourself a tile bro or glass but this is cheaper in my opinion because like frames are usually quite expensive and then because i'm on a bigger one because i'll be using a lot of colors and i'll be painting on large scale and i'm usually i can't, can't use the palette this small i went to a nearby ctm i asked them hey do you sell sample tile and i got this one it's a gigantic not gigantic it's, a, it's an ordinary tile it's a ceramic tile it's white so i can see what i'm mixing and it's glazed so it will wash off easily and it was 20 rand the downside obviously is that these can break but i'd rather be careful then have to be frustrated over a palette that i can't clean typo i had to hold myself because there were a lot of things on sale and i knew i was just gonna be very very broke if i didn't hold myself back so i only got one thing so i was doing this thing where they had like a little goodie bag full of like a bunch of stuff and it's like all for 200 rand it was cute i wasn't gonna buy it but i do need a new bottle and it comes with a bottle inside i want to open it and show you guys i think that's a pretty good deal especially because the stuff is cute and I can use it for school, so let's have a typo haul. Yeah. The first thing, obviously, is a bottle. I had a bottle. You know when it gets those black things? Yeah, my bottle got black things. And I'm so touched because I had it for a good couple of years. My other bottle's got that bottle smell and I care about pencil case. When was the last time I had a pencil case? But I do need a pencil case because I always forget stationery when I go to school. Imagine, I'm literally going to school. I was thinking of putting in my paintbrushes, like my, my acrylic paintbrush. <gasps> Maybe they can fit! Next, pens. So there are these pens and... Oh, these are permanent markers. I thought these were highlighters. Pens look really cool. Although it's one milliliter, which is kind of stressing me because I'm more of like a 0 0.7 kind of girl. This pen writes really nice. And the last two things I got are these two big books. Once again, the kid is, and then University of Equality for All, no place for you, standard typo book. I've never been a tumble, a, a typo girly, but I've always wanted to be a tumble, a tumbler. Well, true, a typo girly. And now I can be a typo girly. I don't really buy a lot like often but when i do i'll make sure to put more videos of this um but if you like this kind of video leave a like that's how i know whether i should do more of them yeah thank you so much for watching if you like the video like you can help me subscribe comment down below all that fun jazz and until then bye